Hello, thank you guys so much for clicking this video today. I really appreciate it. This is gonna be an awesome video that I've made for you. In this video, we're gonna be talking about more ways that you can earn Sunday tokens. You thought the ISO was over. You were wrong, the reverse ISO has begun. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can earn even more Sunday tokens for delegating your ADA. And on top of that, we're also gonna be looking at some blockchain parameter updates to make Cardano faster, stronger, quicker, uh, make the user experience much better for us all. So if you could, please like this video, comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell and click all. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna give you a word at the very end of this video. And if you stay till the end and you comment that word down below, I'll enter you guys into a giveaway for some Bloom tokens in your Cardano wallet and also a couple NFTs. So feel free to do that. We're gonna start doing giveaways. So let's jump into the video. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about in this video today this is Cardano scaling, something that I've been telling you guys about every single week, every video we make, we talk about how Cardano is gonna scale because Cardano has always been about correctness first, tackling security, tackling usability, because you know that's what's most important. And then after that, when the users come, then we focus on scaling and we are in that scaling time now. So here's another parameter update we have commenced the update proposal to increase per block memory units limits for Plutus scripts. What does that mean? What are memory unit limits for Plutus scripts? This is actually the complexity of a script. It is the amount of data that one Plutus script can have on Cardano. What is a Plutus script? So DEXs, you know, Sunday Swap and many other, you know, financial services on Cardano allow users to write scripts. And this is how, you know, we move into the DeFi area, decentralized finance and, uh, you know, more complicated protocols will be using Plutus scripts. And by allowing more memory units, it actually allows more in one script. For example, a scooper, you know, Bloom, my stake pool is actually a scooper. And what we do is we run a piece of software that'll take multiple of your swaps on Sunday Swap. We've probably processed one of your swaps if you've done a bunch, and they'll include them all in one transaction. And the more Plutus script memory units we have, the more swaps we can have in one transaction and in one scoop. So this inc increases, uh, you know, the ability for people to swap more thus increasing the TPS on Cardano. Uh, and this one's happening very quickly. We just got one, I wanna say it was like a week or two ago, and that really, really helped with congestion. So they're tackling this very quickly and very efficiently, and that makes me very excited for what's to come. So how big is the increase? So this increase is a little bit smaller than the last one. The last one was eight. This one is actually six, and they're, they're gonna increase it from 50M to 56M and this will be on the epoch boundary of the 14th of February. Increasing the per block memory limit will allow developers to utilize the value of the last change. 56M is a natural choice, allowing devs to run up to four Plutus scripts per block, each making use of extra memory we added previously up to 14M units each. So there's more thought going into this than just scale. They're thinking about how many scripts per block uh, we can have. So that's really about it. We're getting another Plutus script memory increase and who knows, we may have another block size increase coming and I'll keep you guys up to date on all of that. So if you enjoy this, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm gonna be telling you about all of the ways that Cardano can scale. Feel free to check out my last video about the ways that Cardano uh, will overtake Ethereum with scaling utility uh, and security. It's a good video, but let's jump into the part you're all excited for, the reverse ISO. This is another 20 million Sunday tokens going out to delegates in the Cardano community. And I really wanna read the TLDR here. Decentralization is a core value of the Cardano community and of Sunday Swap Labs. Our ISO map model, though it was designed to support the ideals of decentralized governance by not spinning up our own stake pools and by putting SPO selection to a vote, this actually led to a small decrease in an important metric of the blockchain, decentralization. So they're stating a small decrease uh, in decentralization, and that makes sense. Everyone was so excited for these Sunday tokens. However, I think that will quickly change as people spread their delegation out further and wider. That said, Cardano is still less centralized than nearly all 
of the other top blockchains and SundaySwap is announcing further steps to support decentralization. These include a proposed reverse ISO in which participants are rewarded for delegating ADA to stake pool operators, specifically single stake pool operators, who received at least one vote in the original ISO and scooper vote. Only stakers moving from the original ISO are eligible, so you have to have been delegated to a scooper pool prior to this to be eligible for this uh, you know, round of the ISO. And additional initiatives to be announced in the coming weeks and months, including more details on the formation of the Sunday Swap DAO. So the part of this article that we're actually skipping goes into the methodology behind this and why did they do the ISO in the first place? So let me give you a bit of a historical lesson here. Long, long, long ago, uh, before Sunday Swap, you know, is, is who they are now, uh, they were actually doing an ISO. They were the first one to have the idea. And it was that, hey, we're going to create a stake pool called the Sunday Stake Pool. And if you delegate to us, we're going to pay you in Sunday tokens. And we're going to charge a high fee for that. Uh, there was a big, uh, you know, community essentially uh, rage about that because so many people were so excited about it that, you know, I think they received funding from an alternative source and they realized that they can use this to actually get scoopers. The stake pools that actually run the Sunday Swap protocol, right? There are 30 scoopers. All of these scoopers run, you know, scooper software, and that allows swaps to happen on the decks. And by doing that, that actually gave them the ability to decentralize their decks and then also allowed people to really enjoy this excitement about the ISO model, right? So that's that's where all of this came from. Their goal wasn't really to uh, attack the MEV uh, on Cardano. So in the community, there are a lot of people, you know, raising the opinion that Sunday Swap is centralizing Cardano. And here's Sunday Swap's response. Decentralization is a word that our industry leans on heavily. It is at the core of what we do and an idea that has ignited a fire in the minds of many. When we conceived the ISO, one of the key aspects was how decentralized it was. Anyone could participate and anyone could secure some amount of voice in the DAO being formed around the Sunday Swap protocol. Each Sunday token is a vote in the decentralized autonomous organization. And I have to agree with every point here. Think of all of the users that received the Sunday token. Of the 7 billion ADA, there were thousands upon thousands of users that are all receiving their individual vote in this process. And in my opinion, this is a, a, a much better way than just selling the token outright. Think about how much more decentralized Sunday Swap, uh, you know, at least the DAO will be from the distribution of these tokens. At each step of the ISO, we tried to let the ethos of decentralization guide our decision-making process. Rather than run upwards of 100 stake pools ourselves, we turned to members of the community to run them. Yes, they voted in 30 uh, ISO pools when initially, initially they were going to run their own. So that's definitely a big shift, one entity versus 30. Rather than selecting those members ourselves, we ran one of the largest on-chain governments events in Cardano history to let our community choose them. So they did that, you know, scoopers were voted on. Uh, as much as possible, given Cardano's current limitations, we avoided acting as a central authority and let the community decide. It is ironic that one of the fair criticisms that people have leveled against this model is the role that it played in centralizing Cardano itself. As an unintended consequence, fueled by the intense and overwhelming excitement for our project, which they could have not predicted, it is that we concentrated nearly 7 billion delegated A to behind 40 different pools. In the epochs leading up to the launch of the ISO, this reduced the Nakamoto coefficient, and this is the de, de facto standard for measuring decentralization from 25 to 22, so a small decrease there of three. This above trend certainly doesn't spell doom for Cardano. It's still larger than many other chains. And this time last year, the Cardano community was celebrating a coefficient of 18. So that's good. You know, we've actually decentralized further over time, contrary to con uh, popular belief. However, the criticisms raised around the Sunday Swap ISO seem to have been fair. I mean, that is at least 10% less decentralization from the ISO. However, it was only five epochs and much of that stake will redistribute. However, they're really trying to help uh, that redistribution. The effort and coordination it would take to coerce 22 different entities to act against the stake they themselves have is the, in the success of Cardano is staggering to comprehend. So what they're saying there is of the 22 entities that have 
over 51% of the control, it'd very, be very hard to get those entities to act in the not not the best interest of the protocol. You know, why would you want to hurt something that you have so much value in? That's really one of the cores of proof of stake. That also is the core of pledge. Still, as a trend, it is concerning, and I agree with that, as a highly visible project in the Cardano space, and one which often serves as an example for future projects, we've been thinking deeply about how we can contribute to reversing that trend. More important than what we have done is what we do next. It is clear to us that the DEX should support small, single stake pool operators and play an active role in increasing the MAV. And the best place to do that is to empower single pool operators that currently have more than 21% of the total ADA delegated. So I personally think it is a great initiative to help smaller stake pools. These are people that are just, you know, starting out or they've been here for a while and it's nice to see that they actually get the support. Now let's jump into the, some of the stake pool operators. Okay, so all of that was said, what was important from it? Well, all you need to do is if you're delegated currently to a Sunday ISO pool, whether that be Bloom or any other stake pool, if you would like to participate in one epochs extra of rewards, the last time we did the math, it was about 4.5 Sunday per thousand ADA. So the price of Sunday last time I checked was about 65. 0.65 of an ADA. So you can actually write down the cost and see if it's worth it for you to move to another stake pool for one epoch because you'll be earning about 4.5 Sunday per thousand ADA that you have delegated. So what you have to do, if you're currently delegated to an ISO pool, you can delegate to a list of these pools. We'll have the link down below for the list of pool single pool operators and you get one extra epoch of these rewards. Only one epoch uh, I have some pools that I'd like to recommend, but you can also go pick your own pools from those. And honestly, I'm really happy to spread the love. We've been very fortunate uh, with the Sunday ISO. So I'm very happy to extend our, you know, uh, us being fortunate to other pools as well. So those pools that we have here, Hazel, what they do is they actually donate to no kill shelters to protect cats. Really love that guy. Met him in person. Very cool dude. Squid Pool with Sean McMurdo. He actually, uh, you know, is the one who's been proposing a lot of CIPs to help small pools and decentralize Cardano. TTL stake pool, they donate 40% of their rewards to Ocean. Air pool, they planted 2,500 trees. Nova pool, eco pool, they donate for the environment. Cloudstruck, they're building dev pools for, or dev tools for Cardano. Ego or Eagle pool, uh, Malu pool. Uh, Mal Malu pool is actually a great community member who's actually trying to connect the unconnected. Uh, very inspired by her. Uh, Salt, he's a great community member that I've met in person. Ozzy, uh, they're doing some more donations as well. Great community member. Sapio, uh, it's a great community. They donate 25% they donate to charity. GRC pool, nine relays. Uh, Lynn Pool, uh, they're actually, all the rewards are going for those that are unbanked in Kiva for three months uh, for lending. ATM Pool, he makes great videos for the Cardano community. If I didn't mention your pool here, I am very sorry. However, the link will be down below and also a link to the tweet where you can, you know, recommend your single pool that is going to earn these rewards. Uh, for all delegates of Bloom, uh, we're still going to be paying out Bloom tokens. So if you think that one Epoch's rewards uh, aren't worth it, then feel free to just stay. Also, if you guys leave, it's not going to hurt my feelings, you know, especially if you come back to support me and the channel, you know, uh, the the pool is actually what funds everything I do. So your support is, you know, greatly appreciated. However, I think it's more important for me to give you all this accurate information as it comes out, even if it hurts my business, you know, in the short term. So if you guys do want to come back and earn Bloom tokens to support me, I would love that. However, you know, we're happy to, you know, spread some of the love here to all of these pools listed. And that is the end of the video. If you want to be entered into the giveaway, please type in spread the love exclamation point down below. If you type that in capital S exclamation exclamation point, you'll be entered into a giveaway to earn Bloom tokens or Cardano NFTs. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe, notification bell all. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support on the videos lately. And I hope all of these pools that I mentioned today kill it and earn some Sunday tokens for their delegates.